Hello, hello, hello. Good morning. Good morning. God bless you all. Oh, you It's ready for me. All I need. Everything for life is ready for me. Everything is ready for me. All that I need is ready, ready, ready. In your heart. Grace Wise, God bless you. Good morning. Good afternoon. God bless you. Ready for me. All is ready for me. Look in your world as I look in your world. And as I see. All is ready for me. All is ready for me. Already done. Everything is ready. Everything for life is ready, 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 ready. No matter what is going on, you just let us see. Oh, oh, oh. Ready for me, all is ready for me. No matter what is going on, it doesn't matter what is going on. I see. All is ready for me. All is ready for me. Everything is ready. What I need. Everything for life. Rejoice, rejoice, he's already done, he's already done. Shamo Shamo, mm -hmm. peace and joy, I see. Rejoice, rejoice, he's already done, he's already done. He's already done. Hey! All I require is already done for me. Already done. Oh. <laughs> Can you see it? Good morning, Ambassador Rosling. God bless you. Richards, Richards, Richards. All things are ready for me. All things are ready for you. Richards, Richards, Richards. It's already done. Share, share, share this video, please. Facebook is not friendly. Oh, please help me to share. Let it go far. You might be helping somebody today. You don't know. Mm. Yep. Yeah. I think so. He's already done. <laughs> you see favor. <laughs> already. Already. 
I'm sharing, no, please share. Facebook is not friendly with us, so, so this thing can go far, okay? So, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. God bless you all. Wherever time zone you are watching me from, you are blessed, you are highly favored this blessed Thursday, okay? So, today... The day the Lord has made, we rejoice and we'll be glad. So put a smile on your face. Start jumping, jumping, that dancing like David does. Forget that thing. That thing is that thing. Mm? God is God. <laughs> so how are we doing? Um, you can see I'm doing great. I'm fine. Splendor, coming out stronger every day because God is on my side. And God is on your side. So how are we doing? I hope we are doing good. How was your ninth? How was your last weekend? That, oh, I forgot something. My ambassador, Rosalind, my namesake, God bless you. God will richly bless you. I can't, I cannot just, how do I start? Where do I start from? You are truly a sister, a sister from another mother, but the same father in Christ. Since I've met with you, you have been a, a source of an encourager. You have been a hope giver as well. You have been a, a loving, kind hearted person. You, I don't know how to describe you. I've not met you. I've not seen you. We are just sister on Facebook. And we are African sister. Because we are the African beauty queen of Africa. So, you know, you know, I always like to praise my sisters and uh, give them the, 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 as I speak, that is what exactly in my heart, that is what I speak. I don't speak it to, to get a, <laughs> so that is me. I am me, you know. So, Ambassador Rosalind, this is one of Praise Connect Ambassador. She lives in United Kingdom. She has been a source of support, support in Praise Connect. God will bless you. And God will increase your son in knowledge, in understanding, in kindness. Because your son has a heart of giving, even when he does not have. He has the heart of just cheerful giver. He's a cheerful giver, like in mama. <laughs> so we give thanks to God Almighty for using you as a vessel in Praise Connect, for using you as a, as a partner in Praise Connect, for using you as a supporter in Praise Connect, for using you, for loving me, for me. You know, you don't look at my, you know, you know what I mean. Uh -huh. So let's leave it that way. So that's it. And um, I really, really congratulate everybody. You know, this month is November and is, is a November special. Special November. It's very special. And we are all born to be great. We are born into wet. We are born into greatness. We are born into expansion. We are born into elevation. You know, when you elevate other people, when God elevates you, you try to put a smile on people's face. That makes it great, excellent women of praise. Great, excellent women of praise is women that all came out from a place of pain. And uh, God led me to do the program in the month of October. And uh, they all came out with their testimony and the testimony have encouraged me, made me want to do more for God that I did not choose the topic. I did not choose the team myself, but the Lord chooses for me because God know that I was once in pain and he want us to talk about it. And a lot of women today, they are still in pain. But if you hear our testimony, ah, you go rise up, you go rise, you go put a smile on your face, you go say, I'm going to put a praise on it. <laughs> I'm going to put a praise on it. There is miracle in his name. I write my name on it. There is healing in your name. I write my name on it. I'm going to put a praise on it. So put a praise on it because there is healing in the name of Jesus Christ. There is perfection. There is upliftment. There is upgrade because God is going to upgrade you from honorary level to higher level. So today... Is the voice, the voice of hope in your community. And God chose me to be that voice 
because God has given me voice, God has given me hope to live again. So I am the hand of hope in my community. I am the woman that God picked, especially for this uh, time, this end time, to speak about this, the voice. You know, they call us into a different forum, into a different ministry. But my ministry is a ministry of love, giving hope to the needy, helping the needy, uplifting them, the brokenhearted, the sing especially the single ones, that their heart are still crash. Come and meet me. I will tell you what to do. The secret is just go to the altar of praise. You will see the light of God sparkling. Pa, 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 pa. Hey. So let me introduce myself. You can know that I am the Ambassador Rosalind Esohe Agbon Lahore, the president and the founder of Praise Connect Vision Mission Ministry Organization Worldwide. It's international. It's everywhere. Is in is in is in Cameroon, is in Sierra Leone, is in, in is in Ghana, is in Congo, is in Nigeria, is in Ireland, is in UK. Masatayaba is in UK. So one of the press connect, she's watching me. Uh, press connect is in is in South America, Ghana. So one press connect is there. Press connect is in Gambia. So one press connect, she lives in Gambia. One press connect is in South Africa. We have a lot of press connect in South Africa. Oh, when you talk of Italy, we have a lot of press connect in Italy. Oh, when you talk of Germany, oh my God, we have a lot of press connect in Germany. Oh, when you talk of America, Houston, Texas, we have a lot of them there. Ah, Mark, Abo, Shatai, name where? Because press connect is a branches. Is a branches. Is a branch, so we are branching every corner. Press Connect is in is in Austria. Oh, can you see that? Press Connect is in France. Can you see that? So we have branches. Press Connect is everywhere. Press Connect is in Dubai. Oh my God! You can see the branches. Press Connect is in Togo. Can you hear that? Hi, Rita. God bless you. Press Connect is in Rita. I want to know where you live. I think you live in United States. Yes. Press Connect. Press Connect is in United States. Press Connect is a branches. It's a very big branches. So it's not just my sitting room. I might be sitting in my sitting room, but Press Connect is everywhere. Without praise, we can't pray. <laughs> praise must come in first before prayer. Okay. So that's why praise is everywhere ma legebo shata yaba blessing ma 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 kabo sutereba le karebra sanda yaba thank you holy ghost press connect is in where would i name again oh holland amsterdam amsterdam my god you can see press connect is in amsterdam press connect is in dallas Press Connect is in Europe, everywhere, or corner. You know what, but for me, Press Connect is in Senegal. I was surprised that I am a Press Connect. He said, I am one of you. Hey, Gabo, shut up. He said, I am one of you. I am a praiser. It's praise I do. Praise, that is all I do. So that makes us ambassador. He said, we are the ambassadors of hope, ambassadors of Christ, ambassadors, not just ordinary, representing Christ here on earth. So we have to carry ourselves, you know, carry ourselves good <laughs> because we are representing Christ. So anyone that is representing Christ, you have to stay strong because there will be people will be throwing stone at you hmm? the way they throw stone at Jesus Christ. So get ready. It's not going to be rosy, rosy. It's not going to be just smooth, smooth like that. There will be sometime a breakdown. But he said, he said when the breakdown is there, there will be a lifting up as well. So God is lifting somebody up this morning. I don't know your situation. I don't know where you have gone to. I don't know where you have built. And the foundation is like it's crutching. But let me tell you, you're going to build as from today. She's going to build on a solid rock. The way Christ teach his disciple. Mm -hmm. Because I'm going to share a few testimonies. Before I share a few testimonies. You know. I'm not that kind of 
die, 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 die person. You know, my ministry is a restoration ministry. For those that has been crushed and, and, and they are broken hearted. If I start killing, if I start they die, 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 all of them will die, finish now. So we have to restore. We have to restore them back. They will say, oh, if not for Jesus, where would I be? If not for Christ, where would I be? When the enemy tried to steal my joy away, when the enemy tried to steal my hope away, when the you see, I for, don't forget that I am the voice. So as the word is coming, I am delivering it. Hmm? Oh, It said, it said, it said, where there, where there is a lifting up, he said, a lift, people may cast you down. I don't know that person. People may put you down. But God is telling me to tell you, put a smile on your face. You see the way I'm smiling? Put a smile on your face. So, let me pray before I play another music because we are the ambassador. If God is for you, who can be against you? Nobody. Nobody. So, Heavenly Father God, I bless you. I thank you for this great opportunity. I thank you for this great, excellent woman of praise. I thank you for Praise Connect. I thank you for every woman that have connected to me so far on this journey with Christ because my journey is a new era of God's grace upon my life, a journey with Jesus Christ. Not a journey with man, not a journey with anybody, but a journey with the Messiah, the sooner coming King, the I am that I am, the Jehovah Nisi, the crown of my increase, the crown of your increase. Father God, I thank you, Lord, for allowing me to be in your presence once again. And I thank you for those that are watching, that are connect, that are shared. I thank you for you to bless their hand. As they share the good news this morning, blessings shall locate them in the mighty name of Jesus. If their pocket is drying, Father God, you will fill it up for them in the mighty name. Of, when they feel, oh, my hope is gone, Father God, increase their hope. Mm. I don't know that person anyway, but God is increasing your hope this morning, this afternoon, this evening, wherever time of place you are watching me from. Somebody is watching me for the couple of days now. You have been done. I said it day before yesterday, and I'm still going to repeat it again. Take it. Walk with it. Take it. Run it. Take it to the praise altar. Just, just praise God. Just praise God. Just empty yourself. Just empty yourself and start worshiping God. You will see that every every load we 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 up 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 makabo shatter your back. That every load, that every load is on, on you for the past days, weeks, months. God is God is gonna take them out of you in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, I thank God. I thank my life. I thank God for my children, thank God for my, my family, I thank God for, 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 for vessels that God have used to surrender me. Oh, my brother is wow, Father God. Let, Mighty everlasting Father God. I thank you, Rita. I don't know where you are watching me from, but you are my you are my sister from another mother, but the same father in Christ. I love you so much, and I will keep on loving everybody. God have already given me the heart of love. So I cannot change it and I will not compromise. Please don't compromise. If God have given you the heart of love to love, to do things selflessly, don't let the evil to come and give you something no don't do it because our god is is going to add more it's going to add more in women's life and we should be very very sensitive to see what is coming beforehand so we can pray about it father god thank you for, for giving me that eyes to see beforehand to pray about it for the thing so the thing will not escalate father god i thank you for imparting that spirit in me father god i thank you for and i still release that same spirit that raised Christ from the dead, that dwell in me, that, that lives in me, that make me to see things beforehand. Let it rest upon you guys this morning, this afternoon, in the mighty name of Jesus. I apply the blood of Jesus on this altar. No evil, no evil, no evil shall come before us, shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. I release the oil of grace in everyone that is going to wash this this uh, broadcast and the one that's going to watch it later, the one that's going to watch it in future. I release and I pour the oil of grace all over you from the crown of your head to the sole of your face. Release the supernatural oil of grace. The oil of grace have not contaminated. It's the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is a 
healer. The blood of Jesus is a restoration. The blood of Jesus is a perfection. He perfect all things. He perfect all things. Where people think, oh, I can't do this for you, but when you call upon the day, the blood and a call upon the name of Jesus Christ, it will answer you. And he have answered me, and it will answer those that are watching right now in Jesus' mighty name. Amen, 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 amen. You know, I'm not a die-die person, and uh, I will keep our God is leading me because he said when you need uh, strength, he gives you strength. When you need knowledge, he gives you knowledge. When you need understanding, he gives you understanding. When you need a word to speak to other people, God definitely is going to give it to you. So a day before yesterday, I had this word. And I don't know that God has given me the word of building it on a solid foundation for years when I was going through something. And, uh, you know, as a voice, you have to share what, what God has delivered you from to empower other people that God can do it. If God can do it for me, he can do it for you that I've shared this video. Okay, it can do it for you, for you that are, for you that is listening to me from the group page. It's going to increase you in every area of your life. I serve a mighty God. I don't serve a God that is in a mud. Mm -mm. I don't serve that kind of God. I serve a God that transformed. He make you to yuri yuri. <laughs> so, so I got this word when I was going through something. Uh, let me just deliberate on it before I play this song. I got this song, I got a word building on a solid foundation. Building on a solid foundation is a is a powerful word. You should know the people that you build with. You should know the kind of people that you want to build with. Are they ready to build with you? Are they ready to carry the to follow you to the ends of the of the of the earth? Some them yes, but some no. So I was going through something. That's where a voice came out. So voice did not just come because I want to talk. You know, I was actually going through something. I cried back to God. And the Lord said to me, I know you've been done. I know I will uplift you again. I am going to rewrite your vision. Because you cry for rewriting of vision. And the Lord said, why not build in one-on-one -on -one relationship with people. I say, wow. He said, it's going to be hard for you anyway because you are a people's person. You are a person of people. But the Lord said, no, if you really want to build on a solid foundation, if you really want to build and you want Praise Connect to stand that, he mm, said, build one-on-one -on -one relationship. I said, why? He said, you don't ask questions. Just obey. Obey. I obey. So the Lord said, now I'm going to give you a voice. Be voice. Be the voice of hope in your community. And so I use my voice. Whenever the Lord speaks to me, that is what I use to speak to people. I don't add my own jara. You know when you add your own thorough insight. God don't ask you something. You can't add your own journal. No, 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 no. So voice actually come from where I was giving up, giving up, and I was discouraged. But God said, no, be encouraged. Don't give up. He said, it's not over yet. That was the word. And I'm using the word. He said, it's only when you are dead, when you are dead, that is over. He said, but praise cannot die. Praise is everlasting praise. So I want to be able to tap on this altar of praise. This praise connects vision mission is, 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 a, is a great mission that God gave me. Is, is, is a great and easy. It's very easy. All you have to do is to praise God. All you have to do is to praise. If, you're, if, you're, if you can't pray, praise God. That is it. If you cannot pray, just praise God. Because... In praising God, in praising, in praising, in singing praise and worship, there is a prayer point waiting for you there. That's the secret that is inside. Now the secret be that. Okay? There's no other thing, big thing attached to it. He said when you are praising, pray, doing praise and worship, the prayer point start coming. 
prayer point start releasing from the inside, from the inside. God start giving you something from the inside and you start releasing it to people. That's it. So that makes us ambassador. So that's it. And uh, and uh, the Lord have, have done so many amazing things. He has done so many amazing things that I cannot compromise. I cannot say I am going back to where I was before. No. He said, anyone that is in Christ is a new person. All things are gone. So you are new. So this is new me. Okay. It's new me. So let me go to my, my, my message. My message today is a build on a solid foundation. I'm going to be using my voice after I read my scripture. I'm going to be using my voice. So I'm going to be using my voice. It's a, a be the voice of hope in your community. I am the voice. Ambassador Rosalind Esohe Agbonlaho, the blessed one. He must say one. <laughs> I just added that one a few days ago. I don't know why. He must say one. <laughs> say, <laughs> the bold and the beautiful, beauty, the art of grace. That is who I am. Okay, I have the book of uh, um, uh, Matthew. Matthew. I have the book of, please share, share this video, please. You're going to help somebody. You know, I'm not be pastor, I'm ambassador. Ambassador, ambassador, the faith person, but a cash one ambassador of a uh, one ambassador of Nigeria for one country. They are exposing him. That's the ambassador of flesh. You know, we are the ambassadors of a uh, of Christ here on earth. Okay, so let me go to the book of Matthew, and so I can read what the Omeka Naya actually talked about. There, Omeka Naya says something there. It teach. And when I went to that place, and I, I know that God is actually speaking to somebody. He's speaking for somebody, and he's speaking for because you know why I obey. Because he said, build one on one relationship with anybody that is coming your coming on your side. Hmm? Anybody at all. He said, not. He said, build relationship one on one, so you can build right. Okay, because if you bring together some, some me as you, as I am, I don't read many to things. That is my person. I don't read me. I'm not a read mini person. But if you are a person of reading mini to any little little thing, you're gonna crash one day. You're gonna crash. So I don't do that. So Matthew seven, Matthew seven twenty four to twenty nine. So let me go there and see what it, it says. But I'm not going to read it 29, but I'm going to try and uh, let me read it from me. Um, it says, whoever hear this teaching, this is Christ talking. This is the teaching of our Lord Jesus Christ. It's not Rosalie teaching. It's the Bible. It says, who hear this teaching of mine and obey them is like a wise man who built his house on a rock. You know, if I did not obey, maybe I did not obey why, when I went to God, when I went to seek, I want to seek him again, that the Lord, I'm done, I'm kind of confused, I'm kind of discouraged as he rewrites my vision. And before, before I, I, I made, I, I called, when I got the confirmation, I called to my spiritual mom, she lives here in Republic of Ireland. I come to, I called her, I say, Ma, I want to ask you a question. And she said, go on, my daughter. I said, can God rewrite your vision for you? She said, yes. He said, that is 100%. He said, if you are not sure, you know, that's why I'm the voice. He said, if you are not sure of, if you are not sure of what you have done, or if I'm not sure of what is going on around your circle, he said you can go, or if you're not convinced, or if you're not happy, go back to God and place your request unto him. Place it right as you want it, as, as it is in your mind, as it is in the heavy you. Place it like that. 
I said, okay. I said, because I'm, I'm, I'm kind of confused and kind of discouraged for what I'm saying. He said, God can take away from your vision. He can actually separate you from some gathering. He can actually take you away from some people. He can actually pull you out from, from certain circle, from certain gathering. I said, wow. He said, and he can add to you. I said, wow. He said, yes. He said, that's, that's how he's God. That's, that's why he's our father. He said, we go to him. If you are not sure of something, if you are not convinced of something, go to him. He will enlighten you. He will, he will actually teach you more of what you don't know. He will give you more insight. What you don't know, it will enlighten you. It will, it will, it will build you again from a scratch. So God gave me this one because I was, I was crushed. I was discouraged. I was, I cried for days. Every time I would say, I have not got answer yet. I have not got answer. The Lord said, you have not got answer. I'm going to give you the answer today. So God gave me the answer, the voice of hope in your community. He gave me the, the, the 20th of October, 2019. 20th of October, 2019. He said, your journey is not with man, your journey with me. So if you ask me, if you are not convinced of what you are doing, maybe you, you are carried away for too, too much excitement. Hmm? Say, I'm going to reposition you, then I will give you the, the voice. So God gave me the voice, and, and that is what I use to, 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 to teach people, to talk to people. What God actually speaks to me, that is what I use to encourage people. But when the prophecy comes, when God speaks prophecy through me, I delivered. I don't hesitate. I don't, I don't hold it back. So there two kinds of people. We have two kinds of people. There are two kinds of people here on earth. Some will build with you well. Some will not build you. Some will carry you. Some will read meanings to so many things. Excuse me. Some will read meaning to things. And the people, the, the, the kind of person I am, I am not a, a reading meaning person. I am a plain and hoha. Like the way Jesus Christ is. Say, if you are Christ in you, you don't read meaning. The only person that Jesus Christ actually dealt with, huh? he dealt with the Satan. And there are people who come to you as a Christ-like, but they're actually not. They're actually not. We preach the Bible. That's why ask God to open your inner eyes. When you ask God to open your inner eyes, it will, mm, you will see what no man can see. That's it. So I went to the scripture. I said two kind of people. There are two kind of some we build for it. Some we build wisely. Some we build foolishly. So if you are the wise type, you obey the voice of God. If you are the wise person, you obey the instruction. If you are the wise person, you obey what the teacher is teaching you. Although God imparts in, in, in imparting things in people's life, making you to speak on his behalf. That's why we have teacher in the gospel. That's why we have people that teach us the Bible. He said, if you don't know it all, but God have, a, have called some people particularly to teach the gospel. That's why we have teachers to teach us the Bible. If you don't know it. But the best teacher that you can ever think of is the Holy Spirit. The same Holy Spirit that speaks to you, the same Holy Spirit that speaks to those teachers that is teaching us the Bible when we went to Bible college. But I didn't go anyway. I dropped out. Holy Spirit asked me to drop because it's not time yet. I dropped. So, I was reading this. I said, whoever hears this teaching of mine and obey them is like a wise man who built, who built his house on a rock. It rained. It rained hard. The flood come, the flood come, and the wind blow, and beat against that, the, against that house. But it did not fall because it was built on a rock, a rock that can never crash. The rock of Jesus Christ cannot crash. If you build on a rock of our Lord, it cannot crash. Let me go. The verse is, 
He said, whoever hear this teaching of mine and does not obey them is like a, a foolish man who built his ass on a sand. Hey, a lot of people are built today. They, are, they think they are building, but they're actually building on it. You know what? Because there was no love that attached to their building. There was no love attached to their building. Before you build right, Jesus Christ is love. Don't forget. Before you start building, you have to have Christ's love in you. Christ is love. You have to have that spirit of humility. You have to have that selfless spirit. Not proud spirit. God detests the proud one. And when God detests the proud people, he gives the grace. He transfers the grace. Eh? He gives to the humble one. He gives it to the selfless one. That's why you see great, excellent women of praise. God has given birth to us. And the group page is there. Great, excellent women of praise. They are broken. They, were, they, 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 they are in pain. They almost give up. They were discouraged by a lot of people. You preach love, but you don't act love. Mm. You say love is action. Love is seen clear. You have to see it. You know? So, those ones, it's verse 6, say, he, whoever hear this teaching of mine, this is Jesus Christ that is speaking. He said, and does not obey them. It's like a foolish man who built his house on a sand. It rained hard. The flood come and the wind blow and beat against the house and it fall with a loud cry. It will scatter. Scatter. It will scatter like the way earthquake, like tornado, like all these things, like a hurricane, you know? You see the way the hurricane is blowing people's house. See the way it's taking, the flood is taking people's house. That's how a foolish people, that's what happened to them. If you say you have Christ in you, you have to build right. People that you are carrying along, don't say, don't say this person is special. This person is special. This one is not special. I'm going to accept this. I'm not going to accept this. You are not building right. <laughs> I'm talking to somebody. You are not building right. This is for me. This is not for me. You are not building right. Like me, I'm a people's person. So that is what I do. Okay? I carry everybody along. But if I want to carry you along, like something happened a couple of days, a couple of months now, I was say, why this thing happened like this? The Lord said to me, he said, you worry about everything too much. Instead of worrying about that thing, pray for that thing. So I said, okay. I prayed. He said, life is a journey and journey is life. You will meet with this person today. The person, maybe your time with that person is gone. Maybe the reason why God connects you with that person is for a, is for a certain period. It's for a, 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 a time like that that she needed that word. She needed somebody to be, to speak, to talk to, to, to enlighten him or enlighten her. When that thing, when you have finished your assignment for that person, it's gone. So I was actually comp I was actually saying, why this thing? Why this thing? The Lord said, you worry about everything. He said, in everything, pray. Just pray. Pray. That is so, that's okay. No problem. I went to prayer and I pray and I have the peace of mind for that person. So, in verse 7, he said, it rained hard. The flood come and the wind blow and the beat against the house, that house. And it fall with a loud. Hmm. You know why things happen like that? You know, it's a husband and wife. They are one. Husband and wife. You know, we have not put the ring in our hand. God will bring our own. Okay. But let me say something. Husband and wife. They are one. As they are one. If your husband is not doing things what is right you have to speak to your husband and your husband will listen to you that is building if your wife is doing something bad is not portraying the, 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 the character of Christ you say Christ is in me 
I'm in Christ. The hope of glory. Mm? But if you if you if you if you are a that kind of woman that sowing bad seed in your husband's heart, building bad seed in your husband's heart, please stop it. If you are that kind of man that is building sowing bad seed in your wife's heart, so we before a house should stand, or before a business should stand, or before a ministry to stand, we have to build together. Build in one accord. Build in one agenda. Build in agreement. Agree on something and do it that way. In a good will, in a good way, not in a bad way. Let me take this, my teacher eyes. Not in a bad way, in a good way. But what I see in time past, it shocked me. You know, when you are building, build selflessly. When you are building, build selflessly. See people for who they are. Because Christ see us as we, as we are. Christ is not differentiating us. Christ is not condemning us. Christ is not actually saying you are nobody. No. Only the Satan. Satan is nobody to us. Because he's Satan. Because it's devil. Because it's evil. But we, as a Christ-like, as a believer, you want to build with your friend, or you want to build with your sister, you want to build with your husband, you want to build with your wife, and you discover one dirty character in your wife as a minister. This is, let me know. God wants to address the body of Christ. And who are the body of Christ? We. We are the body of Christ. God is is, is is using us, the unqualified, to deliver the word. Who wants to believe? You like you go to theology. You like you go to Bible school. It does not make you a Bible scholar. You like you go to Bible, uh, pastoral school. It does not make you a pastor. Because you, you read the Bible. You read the commandment. You read the law. You read the law of our Lord Jesus Christ. You read it. And what stands, what stands Christ is love. What stands Christ? So if you want to build, if you don't build in love, you are not ready. That means you are not ready to build at all at all. And a lot of today, you know, since I'm a woman, I'm a woman minister, I'm a woman, my ministry is for mainly for women, but men come to me. But I am a friend of men. I have many fr male friends than women. Because women, while are too much. Hmm? I have male friends. The way they talk to my male friend, I know they talk to my female friend like that. Because they understand. If you go talk to a female woman now, they talk, they talk, they talk. The thing go too high for a shoulder. So I'd rather stay close to female male friend than stay close to a, a female too much. Female, they too like wala. They too like problem. Hmm? I mean, I'm not be problem person like that. But if you step on my toes... As a scorpion, I bite you. Check them. <laughs> so let me let me go the way the way as the spirit is directing me to say it. As a woman minister, you can be pastor wife, oh, you can be pastor sister, you can be pastor auntie. Mm -hmm. And you see something is not going well. Mm. And you don't speak the truth. You don't say the way it is. You do conny conny, conny conny. See, all the branches that we start cutting, pakan, 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 the branches. Hmm? Christ is the body. But he said, he said, there's a Bible verse that said, uh, if you speak to that fake tree or something like that, I don't know the scripture. But if anything that is not bringing you joy, Anything that is not giving you joy, must you attach yourself to that branch? You're going to cut the branch. Cut it away from that thing. Then, position yourself well. You see, God speaks to every one of us. But if only when you don't listen, when God is speaking, like before, I don't listen. I give deaf ears sometimes. 
That was then, but now I see that position myself. I listen to what the Lord is saying. It's not by coming and speaking in tongues. It's not by coming and speaking. Say the word the way it is. Say it raw so people can hear. Not everybody hears speaking in tongue. Not everybody understands. Not everybody that speaks in tongues. I was not. I can't speak in tongues before. Tea. My sister pray for me. Pray. Pour the anointing oil. Not physical anointing oil. Anointing oil from the undiluted word. Do you understand? There's undiluted word that even bigger than anointing oil. We were praying. He says, this is something, God is going to do a new thing at this particular time. Let's pray. Then God opened my mouth. I start speaking in tongues. So, you don't force it. It comes. When the time to give, bring that inside of you. Breathe inside of you. Because God is a, is a, is a breathe. He breathes everything in us. So when that time, he uses somebody to breathe it on me and I start speaking. You know? So, as a vessel, as a women minister, we have to build right because we are the eyes, we are the mirror that they look as a, as a, like a pastor wife too. Help your husband to build right. Maybe God called your husband, did not call you. You are a helpmate. He said, help, help him to build. Help your husband to build. But if you are not doing the right thing, all the thing, all the, all the thing is, is collapsing, is subsiding, is destroying. What you have to do, go back to God and seek his face. Go back to God and seek God's face. I do, I did it. When I'm about to crash, when I'm discouraged, when my, I will think all hope is gone. I went back to God. Say, God, I said, I need the writing of my vision. Maybe I did not hear you well. Maybe I jump Q. Of excitement, I jump Q. I went to God. And God indeed. He gave me this voice that I'm using. He said, I'm going to give you a new confidence. First of all, he gave me three words last October. Of the October, this month, this year anyway, this year, God gave me three words. He said, build your confidence in my spirit, in the spirit of God. Build your confidence in your uniqueness. I think, Rosalind, I think you, are on, we, you listen to the broadcast. He said, build your confidence in Christ. Still listen to, build your confidence in my spirit. Build your confidence in Christ and God. And the one he cried it up said, build your confidence in your uniqueness. So I can decide to come out without makeup. I can decide to come out with my ordinary hair. I can decide to come out with my big hair. I can decide to come out with loud lipstick. God does not see those things, no. God not they see those things. What God is after is your heart. Does your heart connect to him? Or you are just saying it? If your heart did not connect to God, you cannot build right. <laughs> Am I making sense? You know, I don't move by numbers. I move by this in the supernatural. That makes me the blessed one. God does not look at this My Everybody is calling me that this week fit me well, well. It make me look young. So it's the AliExpress that I bought it. It's not too expensive. How much it is? It's uh, everything together, body shipping and everything is 11 euros something. Which is not too bad for the blessed one. So go and look for it and get it. Change your look like the blessed one. So I'm going to be changing my look all the time. I'm going to get different color of it. I'm just giving you hope. So if you know that your look, the look that you have today does not like it, eh? Go and <laughs> go and get a new wig to transform yourself. That's why Blessed One Beauty Empire is there. I'm praying seriously for God to release so many things. And uh, so I will start selling my product by His grace. But I couldn't ever do. But I'm believing God for, for financial. I have the same wig. So you have the same wig. But you know why? Everybody have different face to carry different look, you know. 
my way of if I feel buy, I will buy wig. I will buy my wig. But there is, you know, say I'm a hairdresser. I will, I'm trained hairdresser, professional hairdresser. Now nah, be. I went to elegant school in Nigeria to hairdresser. After I learned the local one, I went to the upgrading one. But I don't do hair for people. I beautify myself. And that's why when God gave me the word, bless one beauty empire. Time will come. You buy a wig. You make the wig the way it suits your face. I'm giving somebody hope right now. I'm actually, I'm actually talking to somebody. Don't say... That is a message for Sunday. I've already had Sunday. Utter, utter, utter of praise. I have the message already with me. So I won't say it here. But the Holy Spirit wants me to say something. Say something. The Lord says you should overcome your insecurity. That was my message for Sunday. That's, that will be my message for this Sunday that is coming. Next Sunday that is coming. But I have to say to somebody. Overcome your insecurity. You are beautiful the way you are. I don't know that person anyway. You are beautiful the way you are. You are elegant beauty. You are excellent beauty. Your beauty is splendor because the beauty of God is splendor. Okay? So I don't know the person, but God is bringing you, recoupling you to bring you together and reshaping you. You will not see that insecurity again. I was like that. I was insecure because of my English. I was insecure because I was thinking that I will not speak English correctly. The Lord says, speak it. If you speak, if you're not correct today, I will correct you the next day. Correct it. So don't be afraid to say what you want to say. If you make mistakes, the Holy Spirit is there to, 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 to address it for you. So I was, I was like that before. I was insecure. What I do, I will say, I can't do it. I can't do it. But the Lord said to me, book of Philippians, he said, you can do all things through me who give you the strength, the ability, the confidence, the grace. So somebody actually need this word. And I release it. It's supposed to be Sunday message. But somebody watching me, you need the word. He said, overcome your insecurity. Overcome it. Insecurity comes in a different insecurity. Some will see you looking good. They are not happy. They are not happy. They be insecure. They say, oh, this person, oh, no, 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 no. They are not happy. But what we used to conquer in them, man, come out on the winning side. Come at the best the next time that you are coming out. Come at the best. You know when you come at the best? Come at the best the way you are coming out. So let me go to my message. That was is for somebody, that's why I release it. So we build on a solid rock. We build on a solid foundation. We build on a solid, and Christ is the rock, is the everlasting rock, the rock of ages. But if you are the type of person that like there are two types of people. Two kind of people. Some will build for you right. Some will not build right with you. Some will have that mindset of insecurity that, oh, you want to grow more than me. That is evil mind. Me, I love sharing people up. I love encouraging people. I love doing the service as God said we should do it. Evangelist. I'm an evangelist. Selfless evangelist. Hmm? Selfless one. Who, not be proud one. There's nothing proud in me. So, and that's what, that is what Christ wants us to do. If you are carrying, if you are preaching Christ, you have to preach it selflessly. You not, don't look other people as if they are nobody. Don't think they can't do what you are doing. You know why? Because God called us into different ministry. That's why we have different ministry. Uh, yes, evil mind. Yes, they are evil mind. They are evil mind. They are
Thank you, Holy Ghost. Kabo Shantayaba. So, let me go straight. Some, there are two types of people. Two types. So, I want to build well with you. Mm -hmm. So, I don't want to build well with you. You know why? Because they will be thinking, that's the security way they did so. So, we'll be thinking that, oh, she wants to grow more than me. She wants to be better more than me. She want, No. Christ is not selfish. So, we don't have to be selfish with ourselves. We should take our picture out. If we are doing something for Christ, so you should take your picture out. Let God be at the center. Let Christ. Don't say, you are doing it for me. You know why? You know why I'm saying this? This is the reason why I go back to God. You are not doing it for me. God placed you in that position at that particular time to do the service at that time. You don't come and say, if not be, if not be me. No. You don't use that word. If not for Christ... Because God is the one that speaks the word through you for you to be able to deliver. Don't take it say, if not for me. That means you are not ready to follow that person. If you are putting yourself in that place, put Christ if you want to build for somebody. It's only people that want, don't want to build for you. That don't want to do, and that's those people that are using that. Now we, now me. No, not Christ. Not Christ, because Christ is in you. If Christ is not in you, you can't do that thing. You cannot do it. That makes us ambassadors of Christ. That's why God alerted us here on earth, that we should be his ambassador, his representative here on earth. But if you are representing Christ here on earth, you have to represent it selflessly, because if you don't represent God with a humble heart, with a humble spirit, that's why God is bringing people. God is bring, the way devil is recruiting people. Devil is recruiting women as well. That you, that's why you see some, some things they are doing on social media. Some things they are doing on Facebook. Some things they are doing for, for Instagram. That was the devil. The devil is operating and Christ is operating. There are a particular set of people that the devil have, 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 have elected. But every two words they use, they will use if not for God. God cannot use you to do evil. God cannot use you to plant evil. God cannot use you to set commotion. God can use you to create peace. Create peace among brethren, among sisters, among friends. It's only the devil that is causing commotion. That's why you see some platform, some platform that the devil have already twisted their mind. He have locked their mind. He have locked their mind. So nothing where you go preach, they will listen to you. They will not. They are not building good names for themselves. The devil can make you famous within a day because you you accept what they offer you. And when they think, when they are looking for you, when they are asking you to return, what will happen to that foundation? Mm. Now the message comes. If the devil offer you something and the thing is booming, but when the devil is going to ask in return, say, give me this. If you don't see the thing to give the devil, what will happen to that foundation? The foundation is going to crash. The foundation is going to be rubbish. The foundation is going to be a disgrace. The foundation is going to be useless. But God is telling us that obey my instruction. Obey my authority. Speak with authority. Speak with confidence. Even though they say you are not speaking good English. Don't even mind. Don't mind them. 
Let them say, God is above. Let them say, Let them say, God is above. Let them say, Let them say, God is above. God is above all things. Let them say. I don't know why they only don't allow me to play music today. It's a talk. Why is it allow me? I want to play song. It said, no, use your voice. Or you are in a place. You are in a place. They are forcing you to do what you don't want to do. They are bribing you. Do you know bribe is a sin? Bribe is a sin. You take bribe. It's a sin. It's not good. You know, for a couple of days now, a friend of my very good friend of mine, he called me. He's a man, you know. I'm a man, I'm a male friend people. He called me and we discuss. And he said to me, Say, I have you in my mind a couple of weeks ago. He said the Lord said I should partner with you. Mm. Thumbs up. <laughs> He said, he said, the Lord said, I said, I'll be having you in my mind a couple of weeks ago. I don't know that I, you will call me. So God play people for you, especially when you are good. So don't stop doing good though. Don't stop doing good. Okay. So yesterday, and he asked me for account number. I didn't send the account. But last night, you know what? The Holy Spirit said, ah, this man said you should send account. You have not sent the account. I said, wow. I said, I said, should I send? He said, send the account. And I send the account. Immediately I send the account. He replied me. He said, great. He said, watch out and see. <laughs> that watch out and see. Do you know that is a good, it's a good feeling? <laughs> it's a good feeling. He asked me oh, two weeks ago, I didn't even bother to send because I'm not that person. But the Lord said, He said, send the account to this person that requested the account from you. I said, okay, no problem. I sent it last night, midnight, a few minutes to midnight. I don't know why my message always comes few minutes to midnight. He said, send it. And I send it all. And he said, great. Say great, this is what I want. So it's, it's actually helping me to build. It's supporting me. It wants to support me, wants to be partner with me because he has seen the good work that I've put out there. The work the Lord have used me to do is not me. So other people can see so they can be able to do it as well. I don't do it to show off. I don't do it to say this is what I've done. No. I do it to enlighten people that when they say you cannot do anything and God say you can do even more. Even more, the one that you can never, the one that you don't even expect. So do it. Start it today. A help will come to you. Somebody will see what you've done. Even me, I can be one of your helper. You don't know. Even me, I can be one of your hand of hope. You don't know. So whatever God is speaking to that person right now, I want to put it in action. Put it, make it come to life. Erase those things that all. Oh, I just say I don't do it well. Oh, they say I don't do it right. Erase those mindsets away from you. Erase those things away from you. So let me go to my scripture. Let me read, finish my scripture before I come back again. I hope, do I make sense? I'm not talking from a place of, of hope. If I might, let me know. Okay. He said, okay, when Jesus finished speaking, the people were amazed. They were amazed. They were happy. So are you amazed for what I just said? <laughs> he said, at this, at this teaching, he did not teach like their teacher of the law. He taught like someone who has authority. So God has given us the authority 
to speak like him. God has given us the, the, the boldness to speak like him. God has given us the spirit to speak like him. So when you are speaking like God, when you are speaking like Omega Naya, you don't speak with fear. He said because the fear is of the devil. Fear is of Ekwensu. Kuma Ekwensu. Wicked people. They speak with fear. But he said, the spirit of God lives in me. The spirit that raised Christ from dead. But now we are going to go to the praise. He said, the spirit of God, it lives in us. So that's why he, he, when God speaks with authority, he expects us to speak with authority. Authority and integrity. <laughs> oh my God, Rosalie, 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 Rosalie. So what I'm trying to say, what I'm trying to say, if no one help you, if you can't build in group, if you are that person, you are quickly emotional. And you can't stand what group are doing. You can actually work with them one-on-one. -on -one. That is what I did. So I work with everybody. But one-on-one. -on -one. So I can build right. If I need an advice, I will come to you. You give me the advice. But the, 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 the better place for you to seek the advice, invite the Holy Spirit. Invite the Holy in your home, in your marriage, in your children, in your sister, in your this, in your that. Invite the Holy Spirit. And God will help you to build it. But if it's not this, this said spirit, there are spirits that they are cornish. Be sensible, be sensitive to those spirits and try to pack your bag and leave. So, we are an ambassador. If God is for you, no one can be against you. No one can be against us. No one can be against you. You see, this is my video. It's going to go far because I had a voice that... It's telling me right now that don't worry about, about anything. Stay firm. So that person, I don't want you to worry about anything. Just stay firm. Go to your closet. Say to God, I leave my heart to you. The person is actually, I don't know whether it's cholesterol, 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 something about your health, something about your health, something about your health, but don't worry about it. God will settle it for you, you know? So let me look for the song to play. Yes, I'm an ambassador. So I played ambassador. So, so that word that came out now is for somebody is concerning your health issue. But don't worry, God is in control about your health issue. And I will release the oil of grace. Let me voice. let me pause this thing. I want to release the oil of grace for that person. I can see two numbers, but people are watching, they are not commenting. I release my legarabu satayaba. Leta kapo shandarabu sutereba lentarabu shanda. Na se kerebra sutereba santaraba shanda. Ma sutere grabo sundere bo shandara basanda le gere bra sata yaba ma sutere ba lendere bo shutele basata yaba ma sata yaba ma sata yaba ma sete de ke bo sutere basanta ma le kare bra sundere bo shanda a kabo shata yaba Lekere bra santara bo sutere ba lendara bo shanda. This God is for you, ma santara bo. Lekere ba sataya ba. Na sete teke bo sutere ba. Hey, ma sataya ba sataya ba. Hey, ma.
receive it from my friend who is sick right now in the name of Jesus I receive it I receive it take it take it wherever area that you are sick I release the oil from the crown of your head. I want to know her name. Where's her name? Her name. I release the oil. Elizabeth, receive this oil. Receive it. 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 Masate rege bo sunde re ba sanda le gare ba sete re ba la kaya ba kara ba sunde re bo shanda masute re ba le kare ba sata ya ba na zanda re bo shanda re bo sunde re ba take re ba shata ya ba thank you Holy Ghost Musa Musi Musi wherever you are lying down. Let there be a move. Let there be a move. Let there be a move of God. Let there be a move of God. Feel the heat of the Holy Ghost. The heat of the Holy Ghost. The heat of the Holy Ghost. Heat of Holy Ghost. If you are cold, your body will be hot. The heat, the sweat. God will make you to sweat it out. Le masata yaba. Thank you, Jesus. God, it will make that person sweat. The person will sweat. And when sweat is start coming out from your body, it's a sign of healing. 
is a sign of it. The person is actually shivering. The person is shaking. The person is shivering. But the Lord is going to send the heat. The heat all over her body. If we say heat all over her body, and when he got the heat, that means God is healing her. God is healing her already. God is perfecting her health already. God is healing her already. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. You know, I thank God for your life. I thank God for the testimony that is going to come after this. For Elizabeth, for Elizabeth is a spiritual attack right from baby. For Elizabeth, it was a spiritual attack right from baby. It does not start today. I think I've said it for you before. But there is nothing God cannot do. God is a healer. And he will heal her. He will perfect her. He will, he will, he will. There's a veil. A veil of mental. No, no way a poor mental, this thing. The poor, the poor, it's a, it's a, I, I want to. He has a, she has, a, it's a very, she has a brighter future. Because they already see the future in her. It did not start today, not be today. It was a place, a place. They took her to a place at the wrong time. I don't know where they took her. I don't know where they carry her to. I don't know where they carry her to. Wherever they are planted, our obelico cord. God will uproot it. And it, it we speak life to it in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive it. Receive it in Jesus' mighty name. This oil, I did not buy it. This oil that I'm using, that is where I remember the day I was ministering. Is it not three years ago? Rosalind, we on the on the on the on my brokers that early morning. When I touched my hair, this part of my hair. The Lord said, that's where my grace lies. And that's where the oil of grace I have anointed my head with oil. And the oil will overflow. And when, the, when I rub my palm like this, that's when the oil comes out. It says, overflow. Overflow oil. They might anoint my head with that oil. But it's actually doing the job on my palm. It's a, a oil of healing. Oil, it's oil of healing. I don't need anointing oil to minister. Anointing oil is very good. If I want to be ordained today as a minister, because I'm not an ordained minister yet, but the former church that I was going, they ordained me as a deaconess. You know, at least Rosalind is here, can bear me testimony. You know, and since I've been using the oil of grace, because the new era of God's grace upon my life, you can see God opened my eyes to Psalm 23, that that's where the oil lies. And I've ministered about it as well. So I, want, I don't want you to take it for granted. I want you to believe and trust everything is by faith it might not work for somebody but if you agree in if you agree in prayer it work quickly don't look at the person don't say oh this person don't have uh, people that watch watch her people don't don't watch her people don't share her video don't look at that don't look at that there's a way god god use us i have a testimony on my messenger Messenger every day. And this is, you know, I always say, say I have made friend where we. Men, they have been into things. I don't give them anything. I don't give them, say, take. I always say, let the oil that I've got have poured in me, let it work for you. That is all I do. I don't need to be coming out and be posting testimony all the time. No. Testimony is to encourage people anyway. But God, is, he did it. He said, no. If anybody wants to share testimonies, you can come out on my page and share it. But I don't want to put your testimony that you put in writing. I don't want to put it in public. No, I won't do it. I won't do it. I did it before. God draw me back in. You know? So when I did uh, uh, God Has Not Forgotten You, people came out and testify their testimony. They testify on my page. And that is how God want me to do it. God don't want me to do right, right. He said, you are the voice. 
Let them use their voice to share the testimony. Let the, let the testimony come from the horse's mouth. So that is what I do. I don't do what other people do. I do what God have instructed me to do. So if you have testimony, if you want to share your testimony, you can come on my page. I will give you access. Come out and share your testimony. I don't do those write-up. There are write-up testimony on my messenger, but I don't have the gods. I don't have the permits. I don't know who I'm showing. Who am I showing it to? No. Let the testimony come from the horse's mouth. If you want to share your testimony, tell me. I will make a flyer of a testifier. So you will come to my page and do your testimony. That is it. I'm not that testimony writing paper person. No, no, no. I have them on my phone. I have them. I have testimony. See this phone message? I don't have message on this phone. But this messenger, I have a lot of testimony. A lot. A lot. A lot of testimony. But I don't put them out there. It does not mean you don't have 100 billion followers. It does not mean Holy Spirit is not working. It's working at his own time. You know, not my time. When I wake up in the morning, see testimony, I will say, wow, when did I do this message? It maybe it had been a message of long ago when I would cry for repentance. You know, it will say, I saw your message. I saw this thing. I saw this. I saw this message. The message is for me. And I'll be using the prayer point to pray. It only my spine alone a testimony. <laughs> so that's it. And uh, like I was talking about Elizabeth. There were things that have been projected right from baby. They project it. It's not today's stuff. And I've said it before, you know. So it's going to really, really take a serious prayer, a serious people, people that have the mind of God. People, if we can have six, let me use seven, seven numbers, people that have, seven is a perfect number. If we can have seven powerful women, women that have selfless spirit, if we can join our faith together and just come together and pray for one person. But because their their spirit, they, their mind is not like me. My, me, I'm a selfless person. My mind is to accept Christ or uh, Christ's command. But how can we get those women that don't read many? The women that God wants to use to pray together for one particular soul that have been in bondage for years. And the person is Elizabeth. The person, she's Elizabeth. Do you understand? But how can we get those people that don't read meaning? How can I get those people that don't, that, that, that don't see their self in their ministry? Because I don't see myself in Priest Connect. I see God and God is moving. So seven, seven, we can see seven women that are selfless, selfless in spirit, that can come and let's pray for this one soul that has been in the camp of the enemy for years. And God wants to bring her out through our voice. I'm going to come to a few people after this. Maybe later tomorrow, I'm going to speak about it to so many, to three people that just God just played in my mind as I'm saying. God played. So, you know what, Rose? You want to write Elizabeth full details to my messenger because that is what I'm going to use to talk to them as I'm talking to them. I don't want to talk my own word. I want to talk from the word that you wrote to me. I want to talk the word that you wrote to me, that is the word I'm going to use to relate the issue to them. I have three people. God just dropped three people in my mind as I'm talking. And they are not here with me in Ireland. They are in another country. So it's for me to connect. That is praise connect. It's for me to connect to them and bring it to the altar of praise and say, let's dig into our issue. Maybe God will reveal more. Maybe it's not what we are saying. 
Maybe there is more to it. And when we are praying, we're going to ask God for God to reveal more to us in our case. This our case is a very tedious case. Our case is a very serious case because he has been in cage for years. He has been in cage. The enemy have caged her. They have messed with her destiny. They have messed with her life. They have messed with her future. But her future belongs to God. Her future does not belong to the Satan. That's why God is telling me that there's seven, seven selfless women. Seven. Seven selfless that, that won't pray, that don't see their self. They only see how God is going to make this thing come out perfect. Okay? So, that's it. I, I love the way God fathered me. I love the way, oh my God, Marley, I don't spend time. I've spent time here. I don't spend time here. So, before I go, let me play my song. Let me play my song. Father God, I thank you for today. I thank you for the for the for the for the ministration. I thank you for the answer. I thank you for the testimony. I thank you for the healing that you are bringing after this ministration. I thank you for the testimony that is coming. I thank you for testimony is already coming, and I can feel it that testimony is already coming for that person that God is going to the heat. The heat, that sweat that you're going to sweat is the sign of your healing. I don't know where the person, but God is doing it already and is going to perfect it. And the person will come and share the testimony by the special grace of the almighty God in Jesus' mighty name. So let me play uh, this song that I always play. And uh, God God is, is a healer and is uh, going to do it for us. He has done it before and he will still do it again. Okay. So don't see. And don't forget the altar of praise is Sunday. The altar of praise is Sunday. But I'm going to change the time. I don't want to clash with my sisters. They are ministering. I want to put the wrong time. So I'm going to change the time of my ministry so I can cheer them up as well. So I can be there to share their video so their video can go far. So I'm going to change my time from, from 4 o'clock to, to 3 or 2 or 2 p.m. in the afternoon. Let me say 3 p.m. in the afternoon for, for Sunday. So I don't want to crash. I don't want to crash program with people because God said we should encourage each other. You know, so I'm, I'm there to encourage, encourage each other. I'm not a selfish person. And I will not be a selfish person in my life. Okay? So let me play this uh, song before I... Why well, I don't see this is my music. Uh -huh. This music that is shocky, shocky me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Me too, oh, oh. Baby, I love you. Tell me you love me too. Hey. Say you too fine. I love the way you make me smile. I love God they make me smile. He never, never leave my side. He revealed to me. That's why I love my eyes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I don't want to stay more than one hour, but I spend more than one hour. I don't want to stay more than one. I don't want to be tying people down. But when the word is coming, I cannot stop. You know? Hey! Then you love me too. So I'll see you guys on Sunday by His grace. I'm going to make the flyer out so you guys can see the time I'm going to come out. And the message for that day is overcome your insecurity. So I love you. Thank you so much, Ambassador Rosalie. Please, 
I want our details. I want all I write up because I'm going to speak from your right up. Okay? I don't want to speak for myself. I want to speak what you wrote to me. That's what I'm going to send to them. So if we three can start the prayer now, maybe other four will come in later by His grace. These people that I want to call, they only see God in their ministry. They don't see themselves. They don't, they are not high, high. I don't care people. Okay? So I love you. I see you guys on my way to work again by the special grace of God. Amen. Love you.